Ever since the COVID vaccine has been finally completed and is starting to get shipped around the world, I figured, hey, maybe there's something more this pandemic has to offer than slowly ruining our lives. And it turns out that a very significant Disney film you might know of called Tangled may have predicted that this was gonna happen 10 years ago. Good work, Disney. You've surprised us once again. Ladies and gentlemen of Corona. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen of Corona. S sorry, my ears aren't clearly functioning. Say that again? Ladies and gentlemen of Corona. From all the kingdoms you could have made up, you chose Corona? As in, the coronavirus pandemic? And this show came out like three years ago? How the hell is that possible? This is nuts. Just weighing in over here. This is bonkers. And you know what's even funnier? <laughs> this show is not the one that predicted the pandemic. No, 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 no. This show only elaborated with that subject. The one that actually predicted it was Big Shock, the Tangled movie itself, that came out not three years ago, not even five years ago but over a decade. Actually, what the hell, the fairy tale that this film was based on came out over two centuries ago. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked, but if we're being real here, I really do think that Tangled actually predicted the coronavirus. I am not even kidding. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, this is such clickbait. You don't know what you're talking about. It's just a coincidence. Oh, really? You think it's just a coincidence? You think it's just a coincidence that Rapunzel was locked in a tower in isolation style and has been basically social distancing for 18 years? You think it's just a coincidence? That the villain of the movie, Mother Gothel, is trying to get this flower to keep herself young and healthy. And then one day, the soldiers from a nearby kingdom called Corona, if you will, show up and seize the flower from her so they could use it to heal a certain authoritative figure. That's right, the richest man or woman in the land, or in our case, some sort of president of ours, I'm sorry, former president that is, thank god, confiscated medicine from someone that he or she is just hoarding the hell out of it instead of getting us the damn cure earlier. Let's see, maybe there's a certain president that got the pandemic but strangely healed in like a week or so and then just came back totally fine saying that he's never been better. All I'm gonna say is insert Trump joke here. And don't get me started with Rapunzel's tangled whatever because I can just explain them with these very coincidental clips. This is the story of how I died and went to heaven. <laughs> Okay, so the kingdom of Corona to be exact, but hey, let's not get hung up on semantics. Bibliophilic, oh, I am so sorry, but don't you worry, Andrew. Corona has the best medical professionals in the world. <laughs> well, your majesty, did you do it? Did you get the seal? Unfortunately, no, Captain. However, Eugene came up with something far better. <laughs> Curse you, Frederick! Frederick, curse you! I'd say see you later, but there's not gonna be a later for Corona. You do not know Coronans very well, now do you? Coronans have always been the same. Pathetic. The kingdom of Corona is in crisis. If the king and queen fall apart, other couples will follow their lead. And soon, all of Corona society will crumble. And you know what they say, as goes Corona, so goes the world. Where is everyone? Oh, it's awful. It's just awful. Everyone in Corona has been forced to quarry. Okay, I'm sorry, but for real, quarry? Quarry? I'm sorry, but a coincidence is like one or two events that happen to be a mistake. But it can't be humanly possible to have several coincidences that even the Simpsons would be like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
And you know what's even more coincidental? The show ended in the literal month the entire world shut down. And okay, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions on this one because it clearly does have a beginning, middle, and end. So this might have been planned. But isn't it kind of creepy that the last season premiered when the pandemic peaked? Isn't it kind of weird that the last episode is about them saving a kingdom called Corona? And isn't it also kind of weird that it ended when the Corona made us lock down in the United States? Okay, look, this might not be that creepy. In 2017, but then again, Corona does mean crown in Spanish. Look that up, I am not even joking. So yeah, Tangled really did predict the coronavirus. And that's all I have to say. I don't know, man, you know, this is what happens when people have too much time on their hands. They start speculating about things that are clearly true, but you know what? I'll admit it, it would be really nice if it turned out that someone could heal the rest of us with their hair or hell, even just with their tears. But in conclusion, boyos and girlos, the lesson for this video is that if Rapunzel can spend 18 years of her life trapped in a tower surely we can handle a few more months in quarantine am i right am i am i right